Dude. Uh, I did a different. Yeah. Not surprising. There's something. Yeah, okay. Right, he got it. He got it. Yeah, if you if you have to be connected to play any game, unless it's multiplayer, then they're 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 using your they're using your stats, they're they're using your info, what you're doing, all that jazz. When you play, can. how you play, everything else. But yeah, any that's what one of the things I love about GOG. <laughs> uh, they DRM free. They will not sell a game that has DRM. And you can download it and you can transfer it to anybody you want because once you have it, it's literally like any other file. Yeah. It, you know, and, and that's why I spend money with them. And they do have the, the their own platform, but it's not needed. So you're not required to have it like Steam in order to log in, play games, all that. You could just go to your account, download the game, install it, play it, and give it to a million people if you want it. I think people respect that, and that's why they're doing so. Yeah. Well. Look, the left keys in the wall. Hold the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence, to access the secure area. Why don't you need to use the truck? You could have just like walked over to the fence and I could have jumped on your head again. Hey ho. Yeah, me personally, uh, crazy. I, I don't bother with that. I just. Younger days, there were some things you just you had to do if you wanted to play a certain game and didn't have the money. But damn, nowadays, nah, not a, not a big deal. I mean, it, it, as soon as the game is released, uh, that same day you'll have uh, you, you can download it for free and have. Uh, a smaller download file, you can have uh, other options, depending on the game, depending on who's doing that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, just stray style. <laughs> yeah. You know, coming. That's a that's a super stable three row vehicle. I have to say. No, we'll make it out with all the sentence on our tail. I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The outsider's manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. Oh, now I'll keep my, I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. No. 
Where's our friend gone? Outside, around the outside. He just disappeared. I fully expect him to be like sleeping on the freaking train or something. Uh, it's time for you to go drive the train. You're a cat after all. You can do everything. Cats are very intelligent creatures. Though I wonder how much is the cat and how much is the robot. Yes. Hey, I want I want that way too. We did something the same. Yeah, I, I actually went that way instead of, I thought about just stuck it in first to where I went to and then running up the middle of the train floor, but I decided to run outside and go into the last door like you did. That's steady. Easter egg. There's an Easter egg. What was that? Oh, the crowbar, yeah. No, you actually use it. Oh, sorry. I just put two and two together. It's like you got like the way Half Life starts on the train. Yeah, like the train, subway. Stairs, drunk yeah. machine, drunk machines, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, there's a huge homage to Half Life. It's a pleasure if game. you would like to purchase or consume any goods. Have a nice day. Yeah, knock them over. No, knock him over. No. Which game engine is the best? Uh, depends on what kind of game you're trying to make, I would argue. Uh, I would say Unreal Engine is, and Unity. Let's and see. Sor and, and Unreal Engine, Unity, and Source are in the fight for top three, depending on what kind of game you're making. Crossbite. Frostbite's good. But yeah, I don't, I don't think they're... I don't think they're as good as... I would say... The top two are... Uh, Source Source 2. And Unreal Engine... What is it? 5 or 6 now? confinement <laughs> procedure. This fed to satisfied engineer into the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Alright, so I'm guessing we need to uh, open up the door. Uh, you need to act like a cat. There you go. Yeah. Go get go get some pets from somebody. Current task is clean the window. Please defend the certified engineer and circuit trying to hear requests. So close to the ceiling. Source is good because of hammer. Well, oh. back in 1999, before Valve ever existed. Uh, I don't know. My opinion, I don't know. 
uh, just w without any research or anything, Source kind of stole the game design from Unreal. Because uh, Unreal was the platform for designing stuff. Because I was literally working in the same, uh, it, it looked exactly the same that Hammer does. Whether you're doing uh, Portal, Counter Strike, whatever, any Source game, uh, Unreal, uh, you worked on it in the same way. They had the same X, Y, Z axis for you, use real view, all that stuff, and to me, it was actually much more simple. Yeah, twenty-three years ago, I was making my own custom maps. In the Unreal Engine for Unreal Tournament. Do you know what? Can I just sort of say, like this, this like right, this view right here is really cool. Yeah, because it is. You can even just like see like some of the areas that you've been to already. Yeah. It's not just like like a massive blur of buildings. It's like you can see the the tower where you put the transceiver and stuff, and you can just pick out some of the other areas. It's really cool detail. Yeah, uh, really cool. Uh, what they actually did was, uh, you're, like, you're literally looking at where you've been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I'm like, you know, you know how you like you build portal game and hammer or whatever, uh, and then you can use like world portals. Yeah. To magical go somewhere like. And then you can look down on that stuff, but the way they did it is amazing. You know, I, I swear, uh, like any games and yeah, I mean, the, most of the best games I've played are indie games. Yeah. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, not that the other ones are bad, but uh, like I, I noticed, uh, I downloaded Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, yet uh, they have it on Steam pre sale. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, play the single campaign one week before it's released. If you, if you, you know, prepay. And it's like, really? I just downloaded it on one of those uh, uh, backup, backup websites. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's actually the full single player campaign with everything. Uh, yeah. Is it not going to be released until when? Uh, yeah, it's been released. Yeah, suckers. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, they keep trying to screw. But they're char They're you know it used to be like a AAA game was forty nine ninety nine American. Yeah. Uh, then I went to fifty nine, and it was at fifty nine for the longest time. And then. It, $69.99. Now, EA is trying to do $69.99, but uh, $99.99 for the, the upgrade, which really $30 more for what upgrade? Yeah, uh, I mean, I again, going back to like the Formula One game, it's like. I think on Steam it's um, you can get it for I think it's fifty pound on Steam, but then there's like a load of extra stuff that you can buy that call the Champions Edition, um, and that's like um, another thirty quid on top. But it's just like microtransaction kind of stuff. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah they, I mean they're they're just like. You can call it DLC. You can call it season passes. 
You can call it whatever you want. Just throw me the fucking game. If I want to pay that much for it, then fine. I'll I'll pay it. And then I, I shouldn't have to pay anymore. No. I mean, it, it's it was never like that back in our day. I mean, it would you bought a game, and if they had updates, and it was it was updates, bugs, fixes. DLC was a horrible, uh, horrible thing for company to do. Yep. I mean, you know. But yeah, it, it kind of begs the question of what. Uh, obviously, uh, Gabe, Newell, uh, you know, Valve uh, can produce quality content. Still, like uh, Half Life Alex, absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually better than. Uh, it's, hard, it's hard to really judge. Uh, VR versus whatever, but I mean, it's still amazing. It's still the storyline, the graphics, the detail they put into things in the game is absolutely incredible. So they did that while they developed, uh, uh, well, Portal Stories VR. Well, not Portal Stories VR, uh, but uh, yeah, Portal Labs. Uh, Yada yada yada. I mean, they made all kinds of cool crap, and those were just like mainly like demos. Hmm. You know, they they weren't really full fledged games. They were just saying, "Hey, we can still do this." Uh, you know, that's the way it seemed to me, anyway. But uh, yeah, crazy. Go ahead, sorry. All right, I think we've got some important story stuff here. The plague, I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought that they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die, I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside, together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Alrighty. Let's find that big shiny button, shall we? Big shiny yeah, I, th button. I think you got way more memories and stuff than I did. And I swear I was looking for them, but this apparently just naturally have a gift for finding stuff <laughs> this is it the main computer according to the mainframe no one has been here for years the whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago if we disable it we should be able to leave we'll need to bring the rest of these systems online these computers hold the data that we need we need to turn them on while you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Alright. I forgot about those. But now that I see it, I remember it like yesterday. Turning computers on, you say. Okay. Difficult, huh? Do like cats do. <laughs> yeah, just walk all over your crap. There we go. 
worked. Good job, my friend. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. System is locked. There, that's the workstation to open the city. There are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now what we need to do, now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines and you destroy some stuff. E. Yeah. Sounds like a grandiose idea. <clears throat> Ooh, I wonder what we can do here. Fires. System is taking more than I expected. Fusion oh, alert. Oh no, we've got to keep going. Scratchy, scratchy. <laughs> Don't worry, I can recharge once we open up that workstation. Hmm. I'll be honest, you're not looking too hot there, B12. Yeah, he is. He's smoking Well, hot. yeah, I, I guess technically he is looking pretty hot. But. Yeah, smoking hot. <laughs> nice jump, cat. I think, I think this little body is done for. It's okay, I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city central control system would be immense, more than this drone could probably could handle. With the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future as the companions and you. Here. Let me take that off you. You are my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Take it with you. I'm sure you can like bat it around with your paws and use it as a play toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think e the ego en engine was. It's not EA's proprietary property, though. I'm pretty sure the that engine is like what the Codemasters made, but I don't see. It's a subdivision of EA now, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Codemasters, not EA. Uh, EA has bought and uh, they, they bought many companies and killed them off and used their proprietary stuff. 
They're, I mean, they're pretty much like uh, any conglomerate. Amazon, Google, Microsoft, whatever. They, Facebook, they take anything and everything they can and use what they want. Well, the, uh, the robots can't handle the sunlight. Rip. The Sentinels, I mean, not the robots. Uh, Frostbite is loaded with DRM. In itself, it's it's not a bad engine, but it's just full of DRM. Thanks to uh, EA, they, you know they can. I think they can just uh, do whatever they want. People will pay, and there are enough that do that, so they keep doing it. But I have not bought an EA game or Ubisoft. What is that red dot? That's like very out of place. It's weird. It's, it's the blood of the people before you trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> door is sure. almost open. You show that respect to that bloodline. Wow, well you can definitely see where the uh, the Zerks were uh, hanging out for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. The city is open. There's that robot that said you're not allowed out. Quite weird, really. It's like you still got control, even though you got like this cinematic view. Yeah, the scene yeah. feels so unnatural. Yeah, no, that, that, that was kind of cool. Where, yep, you can control it, even though it's like pre rendered, you can, but you could still control the cat. saying that oh the ending there's will be straight to yeah and that little um power glitch right there at the end yeah so. i mean it seemed like it ended on the unfinished story it, the whole time you want to get back out and then you do and then you don't See your achieve anything, cat. yeah. You, you, you don't like meet up with your other the, the other cats or anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. You got out, but but what but what about yeah, what about the rest of it? Yeah, I and I and immediately I was like uh yes, thank you. Uh because uh this feels like it's gonna be that there's going to be a sequel to it, which I'll be happy to play. If it's, you know, 
as close as good. I think they could certainly, um, from the way that's been left, they could certainly adapt on and elaborate on like what's happened in the outside world. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. it was, obviously, it was something was hinted at, but it was never actually said like why they've created this walled city and this walled environment in the first place. Um, well, they did say it. They did say it. I remember. That, I I don't remember seeing it. I remember them saying that the um, they had built uh, or they had engineered those zerks to try and um, to get rid of some like bacteria or something, wasn't it? And then it basically all just went wrong. Um, I just don't. Yeah, they, I don't... They, they were like roaches; they could eat anything. That was it. Yeah, to like try and get rid of the garbage and stuff and the. Um, wasn't it? Wasn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, they, but, they, they could eat anything and get out of hand. And, but yeah. I don't. I don't. Like, honestly, don't remember them outrightly saying what had happened in the outside world. No, the only. And I think that's why there's going to be a story too, because well, that's what you said, and you were just like, "But they told you." That's what I'm confused well, about. Well, yeah, uh, well, uh, uh, touche, touche. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, nah, you're right. You're right. I just, I'm deaf. Even with headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it just seemed like the, like, if you think about the very beginning, you're outside, you're traveling around, you're introduced to, jumping and certain concepts and then you just fall into the middle and then at the end you find your way out um it just leads me to believe there's they left it like that because either a they already have another game in the works or b uh so that they could have another yeah i i would i would um I would lean more towards B. Um, simple reason that um, they did a very similar thing with um, Alien Isolation. The way they finished that is like they teed that up beautifully for a sequel until Sega turned around and said, yeah, we're not giving you no funding for a sequel, which is a real shame. But I think it's, it's really well done. That was really well done because it kind of, it, it kind of finished the story off but it still allowed for that little bit of kind of wriggle room if they wanted to bring a sequel in. Well, I mean, it, it, it kind of, it kind of, to me, it brings it back. You started outside, you got back outside, but there's still issues to be solved. Well, yeah, there, I mean, I was... There's part of, part of the story, uh, even with the robots, I mean, there's a lot of writing wiggle room that you can have with that and yeah uh so that yeah they could definitely do a whole outside world thing i mean obviously and, ha and have all new mechanics and all that kind of stuff and you wouldn't have zerks you would have something else like i don't know i imagine like uh uh something maybe maybe flying creatures or and you have a different type of uh harness backpack kind of thing or you know somehow some way you know they can make it you know yeah all tie all tie in yeah. i mean it'd be, it'd be interesting to sort of like dig into the robot side of things a little bit more because i think b12 said that when we got uh that they had uploaded themselves um into like the computer so that was basically the human human the, the scientist person as yeah. robot form but it would be right. interesting to know whether or not there are w was he the only one or are all of the other robots simply kind of like created by ai and you know kind of like what we talked about before like they have kind of like pop they're almost like stereotypical 
acting as stereotypical humans or acting as like humans from pop culture kind of thing. It'd be kind of, there's, there's certainly a lot more they could do there with the robots and the AI to kind of explain it a little bit more or to, you know, dig deeper into how they actually got more, how they got to where they were in a, in a bit more depth, definitely. Um, one thing that I was kind of really hoping for, though, right at the end there, was like, you get, in a, you get into the control room. I was kind of teeing up the idea that there would be like, the last surviving humans living in the control room or something still there containing everything in the walls of the city. Um, obviously, the, you know, in this walled city, at least, the, um, the human race is like dead and buried. You know, maybe maybe stray too, you could find your way to another walled city somewhere and there'd be, there would be some humans there caught kind of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, taking over your job as the rambling man now but um there's loads of different ideas and loads of different directions that they could go over sequel for sure and um yeah I, I would love to see a sequel it's um really nice game it's really nice and chilled um it was good that they didn't like throw the like action um parkour kind of like real rushy areas like where you're trying to avoid things it, it wasn't just relentless there was like a little bit of that and then it was like back to a chilled area where you got to talk to lots of people meet loads of new characters solve a few puzzles um so the way that they broke it up was really nice like you only had those sort of like areas of like high intensity like just to kind of as like a filler to link the areas together so yeah, yeah they did a really good job with that um but yeah just I guess, like we said, like just loads of unanswered questions, which um, yeah, uh, I I feel like well, for me, after playing, uh, no, I I just feel like uh, the unanswered questions, and all of that, yeah. I mean, they can easily write whatever they want to write around it and make it so that. You know, just like uh, any TV show or anything, uh, or movie for that matter, to have uh, oh, a possible, you know, uh, three or four or, or, or whatever. And yeah, the, yeah, I, I, I was originally going to say uh, was, uh, about puzzles because yeah. uh, the game uh, it's 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 like it didn't want to get too hardcore into the puzzle. It, it wanted the exploration aspect, yeah, the the uh, a little bit of puzzle aspect, a little bit of. Uh, yeah, you gotta, you can die in this game kind of aspect, and so on. And that's what I really liked about it. But, and I know everybody wouldn't agree with me, but I would love them to use maybe not like straight two, straight one point five or something, so they can uh, have an excuse. Uh, but have it say that it's more of a puzzly game because I like the physics specs. Yeah. Uh, and even even though I hate the, the Zerks and stuff like that and whatever, but uh, as long as they don't do it any more than they did, I'd be good. And and it because it, it adds something to it that for me, it's fun. But then, if it kept going, I would start getting pissed off. <laughs> yeah, because uh, because that, that's not the kind of game it seems to me. I just I want it to be the way it is, chill. Yeah, and, and be a. I just want I just want a little more. I mean, even though the chasing around, you can run away. The monitoring, the the works, the yada 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 were puzzles. But 
No, I, w I want more of a. It's a game. What game was it? Uh, that that basically used that, but it was more of a side scroller. Right. Uh, that, that uses uh, the puzzle aspect more. So yeah. yeah. But long story short, I would love to see uh, a sequel of some kind. Which had more puzzle to it, yeah, and not death. Uh, that's just me. I I just love puzzle games too. So. But anyway, I'll oh. shut up now. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Deathwish, for this uh, our very first uh, stream takeover. Um, I might um, I might come back to this tomorrow. And um, I might just have a look into some of the um, achievements and bits and pieces and have a bit more of a, an explore of some areas, see if we can finish and find all those memories just to tie some little bits and pieces up. Because I don't know, maybe, maybe there's a bit more explained in the story if, you can, uh, if you're able to find the memories, all of the memories at least. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, we'll, we'll maybe come back to this tomorrow just for one final stream and we'll... Um, pick everything off and uh, draw a final line under it but uh, thanks everybody for tuning in like I said uh, thanks Deathwish for being on board for the last three streams as well um, really appreciate it as always dude thank you very much oh, for the you. stream thank you. Okay, yeah to answer, ask you a question you said I do have an origin account crazy although I don't use it um, I had it when I used to play um, the Simpsons mobile game tapped out but um, yeah I've not used it for years to be fair so, well, I have an uh, Origin account, a Steam account, an uh, Indiegetal account, GOG account. Uh, if there's an account, I have it, and I have games. Yeah. The majority of them I've gotten for free. So Amazon, Luna. That's I think like, Amazon is Luna. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got them all. If there's a place to get games, I have them. It's, it Deathwish sees them as Pokemon. He's got to got to catch them all. <laughs> got to get them all. Catch them all. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, I've been Ocu and awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.